the ano, uh, at least three residents know what would they do. And then, yes. uh, okay. Or maybe the interns, like, what would they do? So maybe yes. two interns, can we ask them to participate? Okay. So can I nominate? <laughs> can I ask? Or maybe um, just, if, ano, kung sino lang yung gusto mag, ano, answer. If none, then you can nominate or... <laughs> I bet uh, one PGI will nominate herself. Okay. Uh, Sulaiman, Doc Sulaiman, what okay. would your would be your answer for this case? Okay, let's listen to her. Uh, are you there, Doctor? How about uh, Dr. Batilong? In this case, what is your insight, Doc? For the interns, please answer. For the interns, are you Hi, present in this? Yes, for the... Okay. Uh, kindly answer, no? Hey, uh, uh, the last. Uh, for me, the... Yes, Doc. Uh, for me, Doc, I think the the man, uh, the husband should have not done that. Uh, may I know the reason why? Because that would be part of our uh, learnings for today. What would be your reasoning behind that answer? Um, um, if uh, the man, um, if the man was really thinking, doc, um, he would know that um, it is not the right, doc. So, um, so, in um, in terms of um, uh, ethics, doc, or uh, yeah. morality, so um, it is not the right thing to do. Um, however, um. Even though uh, he, he is already desperate, so that's all. Mm -mm. So why? <clears throat> Kasi ethics and morality. Bakit bakit dapat bakit ay dapat niyang hindi niya dapat gawin? Mm -hmm. yeah. May, can we hear from another PGI po? And may we request all PGIs to turn on their videos? Oo. Uh -oh. Sige. Uh, good morning, Doc. If okay. we based it... Uh, if we base it on morality, Doc, it's more of um, what your morals would say you would do and in comparison... Let's just be candid, no? We don't explain why, no? Based on morality or ethics, no? Let's just, ano, answer it na parang, okay, hindi dapat niya ginawa kasi ano yung sa tingin niyo lang? yon. So, let's not, ano, go deeper on the ethics and moral issues about it. So, let's just be candid. Okay. Kung ikaw lang ba, kung ikaw si Heinz, ano gagawin mo? Mamamatay na yung asawa mo. You don't have enough money. And then you only have 1,000. Eh, 2,000 yun. So, anong gagawin mo? Diba? Based on lang sa actual ba? <laughs> Good morning. Um, Good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, doc, this is G uh, PJ Judy Larang po, Doc. Uh, for me, Doc, Example, if uh, I am Heinz, uh, siguro doc, I would, uh, if my uh, loved ones po doc is uh, uh, near death from cancer, siguro doc, I would, before I think about breaking into someone's store, siguro doc, I would first try to approach or to ask help, example, from Example, if dito po, Doc, marami naman po kayong 
uh, like mga foundations and mga uh, help doc from uh, the government or from NGOs na pwede po hinga ng fund. So, siguro doc, uh, yun po muna ang first ko i-consider doc. And hindi po ako mag-steal, mag-resort into stealing the drug po doc. Okay. Sige. May I add lang po ito. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in addition lang to PGA Lara's answer, Doc, I, again, um, I would not resort immediately to um, uh, breaking into someone's store. I would first uh, think of other ways, Doc, because especially during this time, marami namang, uh, maraming other ways to uh, find um, financial support if ever... Um, so you doc um other ways mo na doc before yung extremes sige sino yung sumagot kanina yung doc pgi yung male yung lalaki si ay good morning po doc pgi castellano po doc sorry sige so can we hear your answer ay um if i was the husband doc i um, as what my co-PGIs have said, I won't uh, go directly to um, stealing dogs since uh, it could cost him much greater na damage than what he owed. So, yun, if um, morality and ethics na seeing more of um, mag-follow ko sa more of ethical way of um, approaching Okay, so maybe, sige, let's just, ano, parang, uh, ano, proceed, and then analyze, and check <laughs> on yourselves also. On what level <laughs> of morality are you? Sige. Uh, anyways, later on, I will be presenting answers according to the level of uh, moral development okay. uh, with regards to this case. Sige. And then we will check if what level of moral development ah. we have. Ilan ba interns natin? Uh, I think we have four po, do. Ah, four. four. Okay. Sige, okay. So again, we will be examining that case along the levels of moral reasoning, pre-convention, pre-conventional, conventional, and post, ano, post-conventional. So these three levels are further divided into six stages. So for pre-conventional, there's stage one, obedience and punishment. Stage two, individualism and exchange. For conventional, stage three, interpersonal relationships. Stage four, maintaining social order. And for post-conventional, we have stage five, social contract and individual rights. And stage six, universal principles. So for pre-conventional morality, this usually starts at age 4 to 10, and a person is motivated by obedience to authority. It is commonly associated with young children and involves little thought about morality. Moral code is rather shaped by the standards of adults and the consequences of following or breaking their rules. For stage 1, which is obedience and punishment, this is the earliest stage of moral development and is common in young children. And children see rules as fixed and absolute. Obeying the rules is important to avoid punishment, and morality is motivated solely by punishment. So, for example, a child will say, yes, I will tell my parents because if they found out later that I knew for sure, they will get angry and punish me. Another statement would say, no, I will not tell because Ryan will make my life difficult and he might punish me for telling. So, punishment is the motivation. For stage two, which is individualism and exchange, children account individual points of view. They judge actions based on how they serve individual needs. Reciprocity is possible, but only if it serves one's own interests. And children rather recognize that there is not just one right view and that different individuals have different perspectives. The goal, again, is to avoid punishment. So for example, Yes, I will tell my parents because they will reward me for it. I will ask them to buy me the new iPod. No, I will not tell because Ryan will grant me a lot of favors for not telling and he won't also annoy me anymore. 
So we're looking back into Heinz ano, no, story. So for punishment and obedience, uh, these are the various answers for that level of moral development. So for example, uh, for moral reasoning favoring Heinz theft, we could say for, for stage one, the, ans- the answer might be he should steal the drug because he is offered to pay for it and because it is only $200, not the $2,000 the druggist was charging. Another would be he, he should steal it because if he lets his wife die, he would get in trouble. So punishment here is the motivation. Uh, for examples of moral reasoning opposing the theft, uh, it could be said that he shouldn't steal because it is a big crime or he shouldn't steal the drug because he might get caught and sent to jail. On stage two, which is personal usefulness, examples favoring the theft would be, it is all right to steal the drug because his wife needs it to live and he needs her companionship. Or he should steal the drug because his wife needs it and he isn't doing any harm to the druggist because he can pay him back later. So it's more on personal. Then another example for reasoning opposing the theft he shouldn't steal the drug because he might get caught and his wife would probably die before he gets out of jail and it wouldn't do much good. Or he shouldn't steal because the druggist was not doing a bad thing by wanting to make a profit. So this is more on uh, motivation of you know, avoiding punishment or pre-conventional. Now for the second level, which is conventional morality, which is among the age of 10 to 13. People focus on following social norms and customs. They begin to internalize the moral standards of valued adult role models. And reasoning is based on the norms of the the group to which the person belongs. We have stage three, which is interpersonal relationship. Uh, Ships also known as good boy, good girl orientation. A person is focused on living up to social expectations and rules and emphasis on conformity or being nice. They consider how choices influence relationships and they emphasize the maintenance of happy interpersonal relationships and pleasing others. There is a need to avoid rejection, disaffection, or disapproval from others. So for example, yes, I will tell my parents so they will think I am an honest boy. Or no, I will not tell so, I will not tell so Ryan will think that I am such a cool brother. So for stage four, Uh, It's maintaining social order. So they consider society as a whole when making judgments. They focus on maintaining law and order by following the rules, doing one's duty, and respecting authority. So they please individuals to maintain social order by following social norms, customs, and laws. And they become aware of the wider rules of society to avoid guilt. And there is a need not to be criticized by a true authority figure. So in this case, yes, I will tell my parents because we should follow the rules that our, that our parents say. And no, I will not tell because it's been our rule to keep each other secrets. So this, uh, for this level, it's more of the society. No? So looking back into Heinz's example, no? so for stage four, conforming to the will of the group, examples that would reason in favor of the theft, He should steal the drug because society expects a loving husband to help his wife regardless of the consequences. Or he should steal the drug because if he didn't, his family would think he was an uncaring human. So they're looking at how uh, the motivation is how others would perceive you. And examples of reasoning opposing the theft, he shouldn't steal because he will bring dishonor on his family. And this will be a shame. They will be ashamed of him. Or he shouldn't steal the drug because no one would blame him for doing all he could legally. And in this case, the druggist would be the heartless one. So in maintaining social order or law and order, examples of reasoning favoring the theft, he should steal the drug because if he did nothing, he would be responsible for his wife's death. And he should take it with the idea of paying the druggist back. Or he should steal the drug because if people like the druggist are allowed to get away with being greedy and selfish, society would eventually break down. Reasons for opposing Heinz theft in stage four, uh, he shouldn't steal the drug because if people are allowed to take the law into their own hands, regardless of how they justify it, social order would break down. 
or he shouldn't steal the drug because it is always wrong to steal and his law breaking would cause him to feel guilty. So that's for uh, conventional morality. Now we go to the third level, which is post-conventional morality, which happens in adolescence up to adulthood. Now, people look beyond convention to determine nor moral norms and appropriate social interactions. The judgment in this, uh, this level is based on self-chosen principles, and moral reasoning is based on individual rights and justice. Under this level, stage five, social contract and individual rights, people begin to count the differing values, opinions, and beliefs of other people. Laws are important, but members of the society should agree upon these standards. They become aware that there are times when they will work against rules or the interest of particular individuals. And they there is emphasis on the social contract and the maintenance of individual rights. So in stage five, an example would be, yes, I will tell my parents because he might get into trouble and be hurt. His welfare is my top priority. Or no, I will not tell because Ryan is big enough to question my parents' decision if of not letting him go. The sixth stage is universal principles. In this last stage, reasoning is based on universal ethical principles and abstract reasoning. They follow these internalized principles of justice, even if it is against the law. Moral judgment is motivated by one's own conscience. And people have developed their own set of moral guidelines, which may or may not fit the law. And there, there's the search for universal principles. So for example, yes, I will tell my parents because lying is always wrong and I want to be true to what I believe in. Or no, I will not tell because I believe brothers watch out for each other. If he trusted me with this, I should stay true to him and not say anything. So looking back into hindsight, uh, story. No? So if it's in stage five, which is social contract and human rights, the examples of moral reasoning that would favor the theft would be the theft is justified because the law is not set up to deal with circumstances in which obeying would cost a human life. Or it, it, it is not reasonable to say that stealing is wrong because the law should not allow the druggist to deny someone access to life-saving treatment. Another example that would oppose the theft under stage five would be, you can't really blame him for stealing the drug, but even such extreme circumstances do not justify a person taking the law into their own hands. Or he shouldn't steal the drug because eventually he would pay the price of loss of self-respect for disregarding the rules of society. Under the uh, sixth stage or the last no, universal ethical principle, and this may be the moral reasoning for favoring uh, Hank's theft, he must steal the drug because when a choice must be made between disobeying a law and saving a life, one must act in accordance with the higher principle of preserving and respecting life. Or he is justified in stealing the drug because if he had failed in this action to save his wife, he would not have lived up to his own standards of conscience. To those opposing Heinz theft, under stage six, Heinz must consider the other principal who need the drug just as much as his wife. By stealing the drug, he would be acting in accordance with his own particular feelings with utter disregard for the value of all the lives involved. Or he should not steal the drug because though he would probably not be blamed by others, he would have to deal with his own self-condemnation because he did not live up to his own conscience and standards of honesty. So that's the end of my report. So as you see, no, this uh, 